Today we are going to talk about two important findings in cognitive psychology studies and research. That is the Simon effect and the Flinker test. We will start by explaining the Flinker task. In cognitive psychology, the Erickson Flinker task is a set of response inhibition tests used to assess the ability to suppress responses that are inappropriate in a particular context. On the next slide, please pay attention to an example. The participant is required to indicate the direction the middle arrow is facing as quickly and accurately as possible. Participants press a certain button locating on their keyboard indicating if the middle arrow is facing left or right. The Flinker effect is significant in real-life situations. In 2007, Washington was the first state to pass a no-texting-while-driving law as there was a rise in accidents because of cell phone usage. The Flinker effect tells us why it is bad to text or talk on the phone while driving. It is because it impairs your cognitive function of focusing on the road, which can lead to deadly accidents. The Simon effect. The Simon effect is the difference in accuracy or reaction time between trials in which stimulus and response are on the same side and trials in which they are on the opposite side. With responses being generally slower and less accurate when the stimulus and response are on the opposite sides. The participants in this experiment is required to press the key A on the keyboard when they see left pointing arrow and key L when they see right pointing arrow. Stimuli will be placed either left or right side, also known as congruent or incongruent. Regardless of which side arrows are, participants are required to press A or L accordingly. These arrows are examples of Simon effect model. Take a look and try to guess what you have to press. If you indicated the key A, L, A, L on the first row that you saw from the previous slide, then you're correct. And for the next row, if you indicated the key L, A, L, A, then you are correct. The Simmons effect is significant in real-life situations and efficient machines. It's important for companies to consider the Simmons effect for machines such as a plane. It would take a pilot a lot longer to eject the failed right engine if the ejection button was on the left side and vice versa. In some cases, pilots must act as fast as possible for the safety of the passengers. Therefore, the placement of functions on machines are important, and that is due to the Simmons effect. So, what do you think about how the Simon effect and the flanker test are related. The Simon effect and the flanker test are related in a way that the Simon task will take out stimulus to stimulus compatibility effects as in the flanker task. Only conflict between stimuli and response will be measured. Besides that conflict only arises between stimuli and response, stimulus repetitions and alterations not only that, flanker task and Simon effect interfere with each other in a way that they measure and look for very similar responses and outcomes based on the fact that flanker task is used to assess the ability to suppress responses that are inappropriate in a particular context. And where Simon effect is the difference in accuracy or reaction time between trials in which stimulus and response are on the same side and on the opposite sides. This is our references. Thank you for listening and see you next time.